So welcome back to another video of my kitchen utility series. Now I know some of you have already seen this on my Instagram page because I filmed video clips from start to finish and that was how I cut a hole through my worktop for a new kitchen sink. So I'm going to leave a link to that below if you want to follow me so you don't miss out on clips early because I've already done the plumbing, obviously I've fitted the tap and it works and I'm really excited and I've really appreciated the tips that have come along as well because I didn't realise that I needed to adjust my waste pipe for example, it was too steep. So anyway, if you want to see how I get on then keep on watching. Now, because my worktops aren't fixed down yet, I need to make sure everything was lined up to where it was going to be before I was going to cut a hole for my new sink. Then temporarily put my joining strip in place and before I masking taped my worktop, I placed the sink upside down in position. Then I measured the depth of the worktop, which was 600, and then checked the depth of the sink, which was 500, leaving me with 50 mil at the front and 50 mil closer to the wall. But you might want to leave a bigger gap at the back if you're having tiles later but that just didn't really bother me. So now it's time to masking tape it up and you'll find I used this method in my last video just to cut an end because I don't want to chip my worktop. And I also wanted to make sure my sink was dead center of the window and that's where the tap was gonna go as well. So I'm just making a line here and making sure I follow that. So now I'm adjusting a set square to 50 mil so I'd rest it against the edge of my worktop and mark intermittently where 50 mil was. And once I've placed my sink back on there, I could line it up with those pencil markings or even hold the set square there and make sure the sink rested against the edge of it. So the trick now is to not move the sink one little bit. So I'd left it here and then drew around it with a pencil. So now that I've removed the sink, I have an outline. Now you do not want to cut this, I know it sounds obvious, but if you cut this area, your sink is gonna fall straight through. So now I need to make another pencil line inside that one, and I followed the instructions to 10 mil. So to get 10 mils inside that square, I set my set square to 60 mil instead of 50, and I'm marking intermittently with a pencil. And away from the edge, I just use a tape measure. So then I needed to turn those marks into a straight line and I used something long and straight, which was my spirit level. But when it came to the corners, I just artistically drew a curve. Then I moved the worktops to my sawhorses. So now I'm using a little tip I'd seen on a couple of videos and that is to line up a flat wood drill bit. I've got a 20 mil one here and I'd hold it against the corner, lift it up and twist to make a little hole. Then I'd do the exactly the same in the opposite corner and then drill a small hole in between those marks which would pierce an area for the actual flat wood drill bit to go through. I repeated that for each corner. And then I used a jigsaw with a downward facing blade but my dad did say he doesn't think this is necessary with masking tape. I just had these left over and then I'd cut along the pencil line that was with inside the other pencil marking. So I'm not cutting the 50mm line from the front, I'm cutting the 60mm line but it'll depend on your sink. Keep pressing down on the jigsaw so it doesn't bounce up and down and accidentally cut too much off. And make sure you cut on the inside of the pencil line. You don't want to cut too much off. And for those who don't know, I've been nominated again for another blogging award. I'd really appreciate it if you could click the link below and turn the heart red next to the carpenter's daughter. And don't worry if you've already done it before, it only registers one per IP address. And feel free to vote for my friends Average Joe's Joinery and Claire from Making Out of the Woods too. Also, what I didn't get on film is the closer I got to cutting the hole out, I actually got my fiance to support it so it didn't just fall and take off any of the good laminate. So now the proof is in the pudding and it fit perfectly. Nice. Like a glove. <laughs> I like that very much. So now I've got to place the worktop on top and see if I need to trim any of this out for the sink, which I think I'm going to have to trim a little bit but it'll be lighter to pick up now. So now there's a big hole in the middle of the worktop. You must be careful carrying it. And then I placed the sink on top. I found that the frame needed cutting out a bit. So while it was in situ, I just crudely drew around it and then I removed the worktop again so I could cut it out with ease. I also found I had to do the same for the back, but to be honest, that broke before I could even do it properly. And I noticed that in my main kitchen, that bar wasn't there at all. So I wasn't worried about it and I removed it to stop it getting in the way. 
So then my next job was to make sure that the raw edges under the sink were sealed by a waterproof glue or you could use a sealant. So at this stage I didn't clamp it into place because I knew I had to fix a tap and I wanted to make life easy for myself by removing it and fitting it while it was resting on my sawhorses. So I'll be sharing with you how I get on with that very soon. So I'm really hoping this has encouraged more everyday people to realise that they can do it too. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget if you want to see some early clips of how I'm getting on, then feel free to follow my Instagram because it's been really motivating since I got hooked a couple of weeks ago just to keep logging in, documenting how I'm getting on and the advice as well has been superb. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.